So I'm trying to get my first snack of the day. <laughs> We're only a couple of hours in and I'm starving. It is a challenge after all. It's not going to be easy. This is why it's called Britain's... What is it called? They're absolutely everywhere. What's up guys, it's Eddie Fitz and it's 5.30, we're ready to start the Cape Wrath Trail. Here it goes. We're on our way from Glasgow to Fort William. Hopefully, next time we see you, we're on the trail. It's day one of the Cape Wrath Trail. We've just got the ferry across from Fort William over here um, and that's us just setting off so we've got around 15 miles to walk today um, most of it's road um, which is going to be hard but it'll be a good warm up and get us ready for the next 15 to 18 days or so It's honestly just so great to get out onto the Cape Wrath Trail I feel like we've been planning for this for so long um, it really has been such a long time coming and I think just because like everything with lockdown and having so many days like not in the house and getting to train and stuff it just felt like it's a lot longer um, so it's really good just to actually get in this trail um, and start walking it really is exciting so we were just walking along the road there and uh, came across this little stack of rocks and they're called Corona Rock so they've got their little hashtag. You can see Frank get the door, smile, fox sake. I like this one here. It's really good and obviously, you know, we've only just came out of lockdown and this is obviously why I've been so excited for this walk. The fact that we've not had that much outdoors for so long just getting out and doing something like this getting the chance to just get back out outdoors enjoy it um, I think one thing that I noticed when we were in lockdown that actually just the importance to getting outside um, that aspect to your mental health and I know that I says it in the video before um, when I went to Ben Os, but it really, really does make a difference. And even those little sort of five mile walks that we got, um, so I went to like the park every now and then, it was just great to get out there. And it just shows that getting out and doing wee things like this can really make a difference to how you're feeling. Um, so I'm just so glad that I'm going to be outside here for between two to three weeks. Can really not get any better than that. Um, and it was just obviously nice to kind of realise and appreciate the fact that obviously we've just come out of lockdown and um, we're back here in the outdoors where we live. We've also just made a turn there in the road. Uh, it's actually quite hard to notice it, but we kind of kept a little eye just to make sure because we know that we had to turn off at one little point. Um, so we tried the hardest not, not to just like forget. So. There was a little wooden bridge um, on the road and when we clocked out we realised that's where we were meant to turn so make sure that if you ever come and do this in day one that you don't lose track when you're walking in that road it is quite easy just to plough through that because it is you know the road walk you always try and get through that as fast as possible so just make sure that you keep a wee eye on that one but I think now that we've turned off the road Soon we'll be walking through some boggy paths, so excited for that. So I'm trying to get my first snack of the day. <laughs> we're only a couple of hours in and I'm starving. So we're starting for a wee snack. Well, I am at least. Brought plenty of snacks. First up, we've got a boost. Excited.
I decided to walk across the wire bridge. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Day one of the walk, but all is fine. You can see the photos just here. Looks pretty cool. Ran into my first problem, and it's only day one of the Cape Wrath Trail. This is quite a, a vital problem because um, it's my water bottle or my water bag. Uh, was filling it up and tried to hook it onto to here, and it was full, dropped it, and it's bust. So, lucky enough, my dad's got a spare bottle, which is really good, but I'll need to use the duct tape. Thank goodness we packed it to try and fix it later on tonight, so um, let's hope that that goes well. We stopped for lunch not that long ago. The midges were crazy. I'm so glad that I've got my midget jacket. It's just, I will continue to say, it is definitely the best thing to buy ever. Would recommend it to anybody that's coming, not even just the Cape Wrath Trail, but the whole of Scotland, any trips you go, I've always got that packed, so check it out. Um, it's really worth it, and you'll, you'll honestly come back and tell me how amazing it is. So we're now just after the wire bridge in this part here. It's so beautiful. Um, you can see open right up. Um, so I think the last thing that we've got at the end of this day is a, an incline up. Um, just before sort of Glen Finnan, so we're going to aim for around 16 miles. Then it means that the next morning we'll be heading to Glen Finnan just sort of early doors. Might even catch a train, I don't know yet. Um, that would be pretty cool. So I think that incline that I was just talking about to end off day one is just up and around the back of that valley. I think it's around 400 metres high. Um, it'll be a good way to finish the day. When they say it was Britain's toughest long distance walk, it was nothing to do with the walking. It was to do with these little animals. Look at how many there is. Just thousands everywhere. In the tent, outside the tent. It is crazy. Oh. This is what happened when I dropped the water. Bust this edge, but we're going to try and fix it with some Gorilla Tape. Handy that we had it. Hopefully, I will then get a water bottle back. I'd pass the bolognese. Rough midges. <laughs> Midgey pass the bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty decent. Nah, I'm just ready for bed. I've got a wee food belly. So we never went across the hill today. It just kept getting further away and further away the longer it took. And then we just got really tired, so we decided to take a rest just at the bottom of the hill. You're right. Um, so we'll get there. What time are we getting up? Change like that. Go lion. <laughs> Day two.